Hey guys, welcome to Lector Labs. I wish this was a beer and I wish I could make use of this. <laughs> and I wish I was in Canary Islands. But no, I mean, uh, I'm in the headquarters of Elector uh, here in the Netherlands and the weather is so bad and it doesn't seem to care that this July. So, so yeah, so we are just making some videos here and what I have, uh, what we have uh, here today, we have uh, this body that as you can see, it kind of looks like a bagpipe. So perhaps I can just blow and see if something happens. No, I don't think that's not the purpose of the of the thingy. Okay, no, guys, this is a red pitaya, and it's quite famous. Um, it's uh, well, we, I mean, I, I will I will explain later what you can and cannot do with this. Uh, but I'm quite impressed because on exhibitions, as you know, we attend uh, we attend a lot of exhibitions uh, when we have time, and a lot of people uh, have uh, they have been asking uh, for this, and uh, so yeah, there's so many doubts about it and. Uh, it's uh, at first glance, it's not what you think it is. So that's the reason I would like to explain because this stuff is wonderful. So we will move to the, our desk and, and yeah, we will make some demos on it. Let's talk about, uh, about the, the specs a bit. <clears throat> what we can find and we can we do with uh, Red Pitaya. Uh, first of all, what's the Red Pitaya? It's, uh, as you can see, it's a board, looks like a dev kit and it's based on a, on a ceiling system on chip, which is uh, here, uh, below the heatsink. And the idea is that this can replace uh, several expensive uh, instruments, such as uh, oscilloscope, digital, uh, for example, a spectrum analyzer, uh, a signal generator, even Tesla meter, LCR meter, uh, whatever you may think of, because uh, it provides an, an ecosystem uh, which allows the users to make their own instruments. It's uh, open source, so that's uh, quite awesome. And then the, you can put the instruments on the marketplace and the other users can, can download them and use them because they are web-based, as you can see later. But what can we find here? As you can see, these four connectors placed as a backpipe. Uh, we have two inputs, uh, two outputs. Um, the bandwidth of the, the inputs uh, is uh, 50 megahertz which is uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, the sample rate is uh, 120, 25 mega samples per second. Also quite, quite nice. And the resolution of the ADC, uh, it's 14 bits. And well, the, the maximum, the full scale voltage, I have to check my spec sheet. The full scale voltage is uh, two volts, peak, peak. And for the outputs is uh, the, the same, actually. Well, instead of the 14 bits also, but instead of uh, for the digital analog converter, and also it provides uh, another four addi uh, additional uh, inputs and four additional outputs uh, with lower specs, of course. Uh, besides, besides that, uh, it has, uh, as you can see, two uh, SATA connectors, serial, serial connectors, so we can even connect uh, hard drives uh, to, for example, uh, record all uh, the data and it just will go to the hard drives and we forget about it. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm not missing anything. Uh, yeah, well, I'm just saying that the, the system on chip is based on a, it's a dual arm uh, Cortex A9. So it's uh, quite powerful. It's going to get to get quite hot. And yeah, let's see, let's see how it works. To get the Red Pitaya working, we need to, to use a dongle, a USB uh, dongle here that uh, We'll create a Wi-Fi uh, hotspot, and then we connect to that Wi-Fi hotspot to to access all the data and get get uh, all the um, all the plots provided by the Red Pitaya. Also, it needs uh, its own power supply. So even though it's a USB, uh, if you connect it to a computer, for example, to a laptop like this one, it will not work. So it needs a proper uh, its own power supply because uh, power consumption is quite high. So it's gonna it's gonna be necessary, and also we need uh, to plug one of the these adapters in the in the input or output if we want to connect a, a standard probe. So oh, and also before I miss it, uh, you have to download the the like a, it's like a, all the software uh, to put it on the SD card here, and just is ready to go. So I just connected here, 
And after that, I I, got, I connected this uh, iPad to the to the Wi-Fi uh, created by the Red Pitaya itself. And as you can see, then I have to introduce that IP address. Of the, it's like a local IP address. And then what I what I get is this uh, screen. Sorry, this screen uh, with all the applications I, I can I can uh, use right now with the Red Pitaya. As you can see, let's see meter, oscilloscope, generator, and oscilloscope. So I. I want to use this signal generator and so I'm gonna use the oscilloscope of the red pitaya I just go here run what I'm doing right now is uh, I generated the 175 kilohertz uh, signal with the with the signal generator and I'm measuring the that one using the input one in the on the red pitaya so I selected the oscilloscope instrument as you can see here it's uh, web based so I'm, I'm working with the browser and well, as you can, well, it has several options there. You can select the, the search there, whether even uh, set the trigger, range, measure, gain settings. You may, you know, you, you can go uh, through it easily. And uh, this, is, uh, this is wonderful actually, because it's uh, provided via Wi-Fi, all the data with the Wi-Fi hotspot, as we said. And you can zoom in, you can, uh, for example, uh, use the auto scale. You can reset zoom, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's uh, quite precise. It's giving uh, one volt peak peak, more or less. Uh, that's what I what I set in the in the signal generator. So, what if we don't want to use Wi-Fi? Uh, cable, Ethernet cable, so we can connect a laptop like this one uh, using Ethernet, which I have Ethernet here, yeah, and then uh, straight to the to the red pitaya so to use the ethernet cable so a wired connection to the red pitaya uh, we have to change the to adjust the the adapter settings in windows that's really easy it's a process that is described on the on the red pitaya website and then we connect to the this ip address here um, and then we get exactly the same as you can see all the instruments virtual instruments here uh, but well, with a with a big screen, so it's quite convenient. It's more like a, now it's more like a USB, like a true USB uh, oscilloscope. So, for example, um, I'm gonna use the spectrum analyzer here. So we just hit and run, and I'm gonna deactivate channel two because we're not using it, and it's just noisy. And Going back to the index, let me show you guys the oscilloscope because this is actually what more. Well, you, we can also use the oscilloscope and the signal generator at the same time. We want Hit the scope, and then you got our beautiful signal. Change into a triangle. Uh, well, aside from the from the tablet and the and the PC, the laptop, we can also use a smartphone. But yeah, well, the screen is quite uh, small, so but it works. Eh? It really works. I, I tried it already, and uh, and well, guys, if you are the, as you know, Elector is the um, the main distributor for Red Pitaya uh, because we think we really think it's wonderful, and uh, we are yeah we're using it all the time, and we have several authors writing uh, writing uh, software uh, applications for it. So I'm gonna show you what's inside the diagnostic kit. That can be ordered uh, via Elector. I have to say that. And, and yes, everything basically is included, everything what you need. Uh, so that's the SD card. That's the two probes, as you can see. Power supply, which is compatible for European and American and I think even, even UK connectors, sockets. And, and of course, the Repitaya itself is here and adapters of course so yeah that was that was all i hope i hope you like it and you enjoy it and yeah we will pl uh, all the links uh, to get it all the documentation will be placed uh, down there and if you enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe also down there and see you next time bye bye